Hello all and welcome to a quick little pickups video because I've got a few bits to show you, just a few bits to show you because I've got a large stack of Xbox One to show you but I'm going to do that in another pickups video because there's quite a bit of it and have just a special Xbox One pickups video to come but what I'm going to do this one is just show you all the other few bits that I've got as well that aren't Xbox One so it's a few 360 games, three PSP games, an original Xbox game and one Game Gear game as well which have been picked up over the matter of a... Uh, quite a few months I believe so with that let's just dive into it let's dive straight into it and show you the first one which is an Xbox 360 game and that is Twister Mania it's a brand new and sealed Xbox 360 game as well one of those days where I just sort of wandered onto eBay and started looking for Kinect games because that's the area that I'm trying to finish and sort of focus on this year and come across Qu Twister Mania sort of brand new and sealed at £8.95 all in and delivered now at the time, it was £3 in CX, and I do believe it still is with one ninety five delivery. However, they put the delivery up to two ninety five. So at the time, I was looking at basically £5 pre-owned from CEX or eight ninety five all in delivered, brand new, going to have a manual, no questions with it whether it'll work or not. So I thought, you know what, I don't think that's that much more. So we'll plump for Twister Mania, we'll get that one ticked off the full Xbox 360 power set, which I'm going for, of course. But more importantly, that little subset of the Kinect games, which I'm trying to get done by the end of the year. Right, next up, let's do the original Xbox game, because that was gifted to me on the way to the Birmingham Gaming Market, I believe, which was a little while ago now. And that was from Big Game Out. We had three Xbox original games, and one took my interest, because I do like love me a little bit of a driving game. So... When he had Reckless, the Q's emissions, and didn't want it and was giving it away, I said, yes, please, mate, I would love that. So there we go, nice and complete with the manual. And I don't know a lot about this game at all, but it certainly looks very interesting. And like I said, I do like a driving game, so I'm going to be very, very intrigued to give this one a little bit of a bash. So, yeah, an Xbox original game into the collection. I really must start collecting more original Xbox games because, obviously, I do have an original Xbox and the means to play them. So, yeah, might, might go into one day getting the only on Xbox games for the original one. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Might happen. Might happen. No promises. Right, next up from the Birmingham Game Market was a Game Gear game. We actually picked up a little Game Gear cartridge. We picked up NBA Jam, and I do believe I picked this up off of Hidden Chess Gaming, a very cheap price there. Hidden Chess Gaming, Dana's stall when I was there that day. Do have a love for the Game Gear, as I've mentioned previously in many a video, I think, that it was sort of the first gaming system that I ever owned. I love it then. I love it this, to this day, basically. So it's one of those systems that I'm always going to pick up games for. But I'm happy to get car only because obviously cardboard boxes and, and, and that. And it's much cheaper. I just, just want the games. And uh, I'm not going for a full set. Just games that I really want to play. And who doesn't love a bit of NBA Jam? I love NBA Jam. Sort of, yeah. In the very early days of gaming, I, 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 I come across this when it came out and played it and loved it. So, well, yeah. For four quid on the game game. Going to pick it up all day long. Right, next up, we've got a copy of Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. As you see, there's a big, massive £2 on it in the top right-hand corner. However, this turned out to be another gift from Big Game Owl. Uh, I will put a link to Owl's channel in the uh, uh, in the description below, so if for some reason you don't know him, uh, I mentioned him a lot, so you probably always sub to him. Uh, there's a link in the description. Go and check him out, especially if you like CEX and Cherry Shop hunting videos. Anyway... Our sent a picture of a load of stuff in a cherry shop. He had a bit of a tip off and that cherry shop's not too far from him. So he shot off to go and basically get all the good stuff. Uh, but however, that photo was shared in a, a WhatsApp group, which I am also in. And I spotted this in that photo and I said, mate, I am still missing that. Can you grab that for us? I'll give you the two pound when I next see you and, and you give us the game. But Al being Al just went, do you know what? It's only two quid, mate. You can have it. So he ended up gifting it to us. So big thanks, Al. It had the manual in it and it, the disc in it is fine because actually we've done a bit of the online together and uh, been playing that and got some of that done. So been enjoying this game already as well. And I do love a kart racer and Sonic, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing with Banjo Kazooie and All Stars Racing Transform, both absolutely cracking games on the 360. So, if you ever get the chance to pick them up and play them, do so. Really, really good games. Well, the next one is a bit of a random pickup from a CX that is local to me because I already have it. 
and that is this copy of Injustice Gods Amongst Us. But I saw it, and for two pounds, it's priced up as if it wasn't in a steelbook. But this steelbook is beautiful, and I was just like, Do you know what? I have to have that as a fighting game fan. And obviously, an Xbox 360 lover, I have to have that. That is just beautiful. I'm not into sort of buying multiple versions of games, but when they come in beautiful steelbooks like this, I mean, just look at that gorgeous artwork and the, the colour of it and the fact, the condition of it. Just undented and in beautiful condition. Just a really, really nice steelbook. Everything's in there. Everything's in there as well. A bit of inside the cover artwork, perhaps, as well. We've got all the paperwork in there, so that's nice. I mean, yep, it's been attacked by game, as you'll see there. No inside cover artwork, but you know what? The outside makes up for it by an absolute mile. It does indeed, if I can get a manual back in. But that's an absolutely beautiful steelbook. So, yep, when I saw that was in there and only £2, had to have it. Had to have it. And that will go as a little collector's piece in amongst the collection. Really love that. Right, next up, another 360 game. I think the final one for this video. There's some PSP games coming up in a second. For real, really good charity shop find. But anyway, this was picked up at a British Heart Foundation in Newmarket. When me and Al went there for one of his CX and charity shop hunting videos. And I did a, uh, what was, final 250 then. Anyway, I saw that in that charity shop for only £2. It was complete, and oh, Al got us a manual for Alone in the Dark, and I popped it in there for safekeeping, so thanks for that, Al. Forgot that was in there. Uh, that better go in my copy now, actually. Actually, I think he picked up a super cheap copy of that game that day. But anyway, I needed a manual, and he gifted it to us, so thanks for that, Al. But anyway, yeah, this was nice and complete, and... Uh, I needed this because I did actually have it, but again, it was one of those games that didn't work when I was doing my whole achievement from every game thing, so it needed replacing. And this is a £2.50 game in CX, and it was £2 in British Heart Foundation, going to charity, all that sort of stuff. They, I know they have a rep for being sort of pricey and kind of charging a bit too much for their games, but when you need them for the collection, because uh, obviously I wouldn't make on trade on this, but when you need them for the collection and they're under CX value, that it's nice that you can pick them, pick them up from there. Got the hollow on it and everything, and there's Mr. Brock Lesnar trying to punch the sticker off the front of the case by the looks of it. But anyway, we've got this one back into the collection and added to the total. Right, finally, we've got three PSP games. Now, one of my usual cherry shops, I wandered in all the way to the back to the shelves where the games usually are and there were a few there but nothing worth picking up but i've always i also learned in that cherry shop always stare at the counter because sometimes there it's like a, a glass top counter and there's a drawer and you can see things through the top of it and then you can pull the drawer and get them out I, i've spotted things in there before but sometimes they've just had things sitting on the top waiting to go out and so many times i've seen things sitting on the top waiting to go out and they've obviously had some sort of interest to me anyway i saw five psp games sitting there and i thought to myself do you know what there might be a little bit of credit to some of those let's have a look i left behind a fifa for game obviously fifa never usually much credit in those unless you get a later one on a system and a pirates of the caribbean game which i do already own i knew that never had any credit in it as well i picked out the pirates of the caribbean game because i just loved the films and this was a dual pack with a umd in it as well however that was just a standalone game but anyway there was three games there i'll tell you what i'll show you the one foul out of the three because because I was at the counter, it was kind of, I'm going to have to pick these up and try to use what knowledge I have of what sort of thing makes a little bit of money at CEX. And the, the only foul amongst the three, because they were all a pound each, was SSX on tour. Now, this sells in CEX for £2. So if I want it for the collection, then I have saved money. However, I was looking at trading. It only trades in for 60p, uh, cash for 30p. So I did lose out. These are all in lovely condition with manuals and things like that. So I might trade in for a 40p loss, or if somebody out there really wants it, then I might give it to them as a gift because, yeah, whatever. You know... Make a mistake, you live by it. However, the two that were winners was first up out of those two winners, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix. Uh, this is a £10 game in CX. They will give me my... Oh, no, they won't give me my cash back. They'll double it at £2, and they'll give me trade for four. So a nice £3 markup in trade there for Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix. And again, beautifully complete and in beautiful condition as well. No cracks in the UMD and all that sort of jazz. And then finally, one of my I've got a PSP, so I might actually give this a little play before I move it on, actually. Spider-Man 2. I saw this and I was like, yeah, Spider-Man games generally a lot of the time have a little bit of value. Certainly a quid, that's one worth gambling on. Absolutely worth 
the gamble. And the same as Tony Hawk's, this one, the Tony Hawk's game I've just showed you. This one sells for £10. They'll give you cash for £2. So I could double my money there. And trading is £4. So that'll be traded in as well. So the three games, obviously, a £3 outlay will get me £8.60 back in trade, which is a profit of £5.60 in trade credit for these. So these two here were the turn up of that little visit to the charity shop, making myself out of these two. You know what, one pound and one pound for for eight pound, six pound alone in credit. Fantastic. Just a shame I messed up a little bit on the other one. But ladies and gentlemen, that's just a quick pickups video showing you everything from quite a few months that isn't Xbox One. But believe me, the Xbox One one will take a little bit of time to go through because it's quite a stack of games, and I'm going to give that its own video. So watch out for that in the coming couple of weeks hopefully i can get that out for you especially if you like xbox one stay tuned for that one but if you have enjoyed this video please do a thumbs up because youtube likes it when you do that and so do i so thank you very much in advance if you do do that and if you stumbled across my channel for the very first time and you've enjoyed this video check out all the other videos and perhaps subscribe as well i will love you for it if you do subscribe i love all my current subscribers already but that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and as always please do Take care.